Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're coming from today. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have filmed a video, but I'm very much looking forward to filming this one. So today I'm just going to be doing like a little chit chat, get ready with me, just because like, just felt like it to be honest. So let's dive straight into the makeup. I have already done, as you can see, my brows and I've already obviously put my hair up in a bun today. Uh, I just thought, because my, my, <laughs> my brows, they're acting up. Like, it's like my eyebrows are 15 year old me who wouldn't do as that, who wouldn't do as they're told. If you see me looking a little bit off to the side, it's just because I've got my mirror here and obviously I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So, yeah. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to go in with is primer and I'm priming today with the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Now for me, I really like this stuff just because it. I've not tried the um, Milk Hydro Grip but I want to because I want to compare the two because I hear this is like a massive dupe for it and for me, I can tell that my makeup actually does have a difference when I have this on compared to when I just have like moisturiser on. Um, I'm one of these I have combination skin so I'm oily around my t-zone and I'm really dry like around my cheek area like here I'm not too sure why but you know we move and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of lip balm just because we're in the colder months now and I don't know why but my lips get super duper dry like they just go extra crusty and uh, we don't want no crust around here we ain't getting crusty musty dusty Next thing I'm going to go in with is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in shade 110 Pink Rose because I am fair skinned even though I do tan every now and again but this seems to just always work whether I'm tanned, whether I'm not tanned and yeah and basically this is just helping with my under eye bags because your girl's not sleeping <laughs> for some reason. I apologise if I'm swearing at you, I don't mean to, I just naturally tap things in with my middle finger. I promise, I am not swearing at you. Which is why I'm just gonna cross my fingers over like that. It just kind of helps cover up my eye bags from what I can tell. And it's, I mean, it seems to do the job. I found out about this product through Michaela on TikTok. I'm not too sure how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not gonna try. But um, I, she reviewed this, and so I bought it basically straight away. Um, and it seems to be working brilliantly. So a little update for you all, uh, obviously since last year we are still dealing with the Covid pandemic um, and recently, I'm, I mean I've not isolated at all since obviously we've come out of the pandemic, I've not had to do anything like that, I'm double jabbed, I know some people aren't, that's your choice, do what you want, but me personally I have certain people in my life who are still extremely vulnerable and I don't, I would rather not pass COVID off to them, even though they are jabbed as well. I've hated having the vaccine. Like, just, I don't like needles. I'm not a needle person. I can't deal with it. And even on my first jab, I fainted. I full on fainted. Granted, I'd barely eaten anything that day. I think I'd had a bottle of Pepsi or a bottle of Coke. I'd had a protein bar and a banana. You know, that kind of sums it up. I was extremely nervous anyway because I don't like needles. So I went in there, stood in this long line for ages, and then I finally was able to be seen. And immediately I was like shaking, I was nervous. <laughs> and the guy who was injecting me went, right, let's get you to sit down. I think they're, I think they're classed as nurses, I'm not too sure. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, but he got me to sit down and he was talking to me and for some reason my eye gaze went down and I saw the needle in his hand and I started freaking out. Like, not like, oh my god, oh my god. I was more just like, mm, doo -doo 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 -doo, I don't like this. So like I started shaking and the minute the needle went into my arm, I could, f I felt him pull it out immediately. Down. Like everything just went blank. I could hear everybody. But I couldn't smell, I couldn't see for like a good like maybe two, three minutes and I woke up and I was on the floor. I don't even know how I got to the floor, like I don't remember it. Since last year, since the last video, I'm an aunt, I am an auntie to a beautiful little girl named Bella. My brother and his wife had a daughter, she's just so beautiful. Also a little update. My sister's moving out. 
she is moving into her new home uh, within the next month or so I believe it is I think she's uh, she's literally moving in like five minutes away from my house um, but she yeah she's moving out um, with her boyfriend and yeah I'm moving into her room so I decided not to film this video in my room just because I've already tried it this is my like I think this is like my third attempt filming this just because my battery died um, then the SD card was full so I had to like oh, it, was just, it was a mess so I've got a new SD card in I've got a new battery in and it all should be fine going well and then I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless I believe in Yep, 102 Fair Ivory, just because my tan's rubbing off and so I'm having to use my products that match my skin tone instead of, um, obviously, my skin tone when I'm tanned. Oh. And then going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, love that. And then I use the shade Silk Cream and MFEO. Sometimes. I've hit pan on silk cream and I'm not happy about it. I've had this palette for a while now and I don't do my makeup every day but I do it, let's say, out of the week, maybe four, three times depending on how I'm feeling. Like I do wear it to work occasionally and I always do the same look, always. <laughs> like in my Instagram photos I'm wearing the same look. The only photo that I think on my Instagram currently that I have a different look is my birthday photo one and that's when I have like lighter hair and I think I, I did I think I did like a big smoky wing or something like that. I really want to know what everybody's doing for Halloween and I believe what me and my partner are doing this year is my mate is having a house party and so I believe we're going. I believe he's being a zombie panda. Um, I'm not too sure. I can't really remember. But um, I have no idea what to do. Um, at one point, I thought about going as Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls because I had really blonde hair. I just had my highlights done and I was like, oh, I know I'm going to be for Halloween. And now I don't have really blonde hair. And in about a week or so, I'm dyeing it brunette, which is the one colour I think I haven't been besides orange. I think it's just orange. I haven't been. Yeah, I haven't been orange. I was born very very light blonde like white kind of blonde and all I've ever known is being blonde besides obviously when I started colouring it when I was like doing um like pinks purple blue and for some reason I can't find any of the photos of when I had blue hair because I did at one point and it was only semi-permanent so it only lasted like a couple weeks and then using the same palette I get an angled brush and I dip into sh I always go back and forth but today I think I'm going to dip into shade Central Park because I do like doing I don't really like black eyeliner anymore on me it seems to make my eyes appear smaller than they are I'm currently just doing this whole like brown eyeliner business because I feel like it and I think it just suits me better to be honest with you doing eyeliner is like one of the scariest things to me I currently can't find any kind of like brown liquid liner that I like. So if any of you have any recommendations, let a bitch know. Let a hoe know because I really want to know. I'm a very weird human being if you can't tell. For anybody who hasn't seen me on the laptop, phone screen, however you're watching me today, uh, I'm Chloe. <laughs> um, I'm 20 years old. Um, I'm actually a qualified hairdresser. I've been for about three years now. Um, I currently live at home. Oh, my eye. I feel like I'm gonna poke my own eye out soon. And this is more kind of like a hobby, like whenever I feel like filming, I'll film. But yeah, so I kind of just film whenever I feel like it because I don't have a smaller camera that I can take out the house to like do vlogs and whatnot with. I'd love to vlog and I think hopefully by Christmas I would have saved enough to the point where I can buy a smaller camera because me and my mates are going away in January for their 21st birthday it's kind of like my present to them and I really want to just vlog it just for fun just so then we can look back on it and like see all the cool things that we did now I go in with bronzer and I use the sleek face forming contour and blush palette as you can see this is very well loved very well loved um, I don't use the highlight shade 
really like for actual highlight like I'll use it for um like in a corner highlight on my eyes but I won't use it for actual highlight because it doesn't give me that much of a highlight I find and it just is what it is I like quite like a nice boom in highlight some days some days I won't put on highlight at all and other days I will and I'll love it but if I'm going to put on highlight I'm going all the flipping way like <laughs> I want to shimmer to the high heavens. With nose contouring, I don't get out a smaller brush. I <laughs> I mean, I just do it to add warmth to my face. I don't really do it to sculpt my nose because I don't want to make my nose look smaller. My nose is all like, I think my nose is quite in good proportion to my face. So I keep playing with my hair. It's because I've got fly, I've got flyaways that won't stay the hell down. I have hairsprayed my entire hair and they won't stay down. And it's really annoying. <laughs> The only thing I do want to make smaller, because I seem to have a rounder face, is I do put bronzer on my temples, because it kind of decreases the wideness of my face. Don't know what I'm going on about. I'm I'm acting like I know what I'm going on about. Really, I don't. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I'm going on about. All I know is I like putting on my makeup this way, and it seems to work for me. Moving on to blush, using the exact same palette, just that blush shade. I like putting on a lot of blush like a lot of it just because I love it I naturally have very rosy cheeks oh sorry pardon me okay I'm not dealing with this flyaway situation anymore it's not really happening on this side but it's happening on this side and um I'm kind of done with it I'm kind of done with it to be honest with you with blush I usually go over my nose and my chin and my forehead just a little bit just because I feel like it and then going in with the um death trap <laughs> I'm gonna curl my eyelashes just because I have the kind of eyelashes that stick down. They're like they're like not really all that long, but they're not super short. But they stick right the hell down, like they're pointing towards you know down below where he who shall not be named lives. Then after curling my lashes, I go in with the Maybelline Sky High mascara. I always look up when I'm doing mascara. I've no idea why. <laughs> the accent's my jaw, so I'm not really too fussed. Oh. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I have started buying Christmas presents. I have started. And um, I'm not ashamed of it because that means I'm going to be very organised for Christmas and I don't have to worry about it. Because I have... I think this year is the most people I've had on my list to buy presents for and I'm not complaining I do it because I want to I love giving out presents but also thinking of them for each individual person because I'd rather give them something that actually means something to them that they want but I don't like asking people what they actually want for Christmas I don't know why it just doesn't sit right with me completely forgot to do my bottom lashes didn't I what's going on with me today ah! I dropped it <laughs> dropped it um oh it's not smashed thank god okay um so i'm going in with my highlight just to finish off um actually no i'm gonna do yeah am i finished i don't know am i gonna put on that am i gonna put on i don't know what else to put on my face i want to put more stuff on my face <laughs> anybody else watching strictly this year i am and i'm obsessed and i'm very unhappy i'm not gonna spoil it i think if anybody hasn't seen the weeks that's just passed, so week two. If anybody's not seen it and you don't know who's gone out, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I am very upset. I am very upset because I really like them. I really like that person. And week one, I was like, woohoo! I was like, go on, shake it, baby. I was so flipping excited to see like what the future held for that series with them in it. Look at this face. I'm not happy. I don't know why. Whenever I put highlight in the corner, it accents the green in my eyes. I have like blue slash green eyes. And I feel like whenever I put like any kind of thing in my inner corner, it will accentuate the green more than the blue. Like even when I put colour there, it just is what it is. Yo, you'll find that across my eyes a lot. Um, if I carry on filming YouTube videos, you'll find that A, I'm strange. B, I'm weird. C, I couldn't care less about it. And D, that crossed my eyes quite a bit because I find it hilarious, even though no one else does. The only person who laughs at it is my niece because 
I mean, she's a newborn. She doesn't know what the hell's going on. So she'll laugh at anything. So just to finish off, I'm just going to put a little bit of nude eyeliner in my waterline. Um, just because, why not? I have no proper reasoning behind putting this in my waterline. Um, just feel like it. feel like it makes me look a little bit more awake. <laughs> Uh, because oh, I got barely any sleep last night. Don't know why. Don't ask me. There we go. Now I don't set my face because I ran out of setting spray. And I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. But oh, God, just move on, my love. Just gotta move on. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. I very much actually enjoyed filming this. I felt like I was just talking to a friend. Um, and yeah. Well, if you like these videos, let me know. And hopefully I'll see you soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.